talk about a little bit about that now with Adriano Novunga. He is a member of civil society organization in Mozambique known as Forum di Monitoria di Orsamento or FMO. Minister uh, Lamula reading the statement earlier referring to the FMO having brought an application to review and set aside his order as Minister of Justice that he had uh, done earlier and reminding us that in November 2021 uh, the High Court Judge Victor in South Africa also set aside the decision and substituted with an order that Mr. Chang should be extradited to the United States. Subsequently, the Mozambican government applied to stop that uh, extradition to the U.S. and they filed an application to the Constitutional Court to appeal the judgment. The South African Constitutional Court dismissing that application with cost. And now the Mozambique government has gone to the South African Supreme Court of Appeal. And according to what we've heard now this afternoon uh, from the minister and from the briefing, they are now seeking they are now seeking a full, a full bench of the Supreme Court of Appeal to hear this matter. We are still waiting for that. Let's get some reaction on the matter of Manuel Cheng from Professor Adriano Novunga. He's also a director for Mozambique Center for Democracy, but he's also a member of the Forum de Monitoria do Orçamento, FMO, that applied to the South African courts in support of the extradition of Manuel Cheng to the United States. Prof Novunga, good afternoon. I was just setting up the context there very quickly for our viewers about why we're talking to you. Your reaction to what the Minister Lamula just had to say, announcing that there's still a last stage to this process that uh, has been brought about by the Mozambican government's application for a Supreme Court of Appeal review? We were jubilant when we received this statement, a written statement, saying clearly that Manuel Chang was being extradited to the United States of America. We were jubilant. Uh, and that lasted very short because Minister Lamola then changed, saying that um, Manuel Shang um, is not yet being um, uh, handed uh, to the American authorities because they are waiting for the uh, decision from, from the Supreme Court of Appeal, which is, which is legal because, in fact, we know that that is ongoing. But we, that um, uh, Minister Lamola, had taken that decision uh, based on the fact that Mozambican authorities, they had earlier submitted their appeal directly to the CONCON. And with the CONCON dismissing that, we had believed that uh, Minister Lamola had seen that, in fact, this route to the uh, Supreme Court of Appeal, it is a waste of money of the Mozambican people. It is a waste of time from the government of Mozambique. So they've taken that decision. But we have to conform with the decision of Minister Lamola. We will wait. But with this happening, we believe that Manuel Shang is closer to be extradited to America than to be returned to Mozambique. Just remind our viewers why you, as the Forum de Monitoria de Orsamento, the FMO, insist that he must be extradited to the United States and not to Mozambique. The, uh, the political significance of Mr. Manuel Chang being extradited uh, to the United States, it is massive for the people of Mozambique um, because that will mean the victory against impunity. If Manuel Chang is extradited to Mozambique, it will be the close of the case, and it will be the triumph of impunity. And remember, impunity and corruption, it is sitting in between the Mozambican people and the improvement of the livelihoods of the impoverished Mozambicans. It is the big and political corruption that is driving Mozambique to its biggest crisis ever. And from there, for the authorities, they want Manuel Chang to be back in order to close the case and the, um, with that um, uh, keep the assets that they have acquired through this case that has led okay. millions of people, of women and children of Mozambique to poverty. So for now, as we've heard Minister Lamula state just a short while ago, 
uh, Manuel Chang will remain in a South African uh, prison where he's been since December 2018 after being arrested at Oar Tambo International Airport following that red alert by Interpol. So the process will continue in the Supreme Court of Appeal. Will you, uh, as the civil society organization that has brought up this matter in the South African courts, uh, be actively engaged as well with the Supreme Court of Appeal process? That you say, while you are disappointed that uh, Manuel Cheng will not yet be extradited to the United States, you accept the South African legal process. Are you going to be involved in the Supreme Court of Appeal? Absolutely. Our lawyers are working tirelessly to um, uh, inform the Supreme Court of Appeal that um, Manuel Chang um, uh, has to be extradited to America if the justice is to be saved, if the justice for the people of Mozambique is to be saved. So we are very active and we are mobilizing the people of Mozambique and also of the Sadiq region to support in this case because this case, it can set in motion a regional wave of fighting against impunity and corruption. Thank you very much, Professor Adriana Novunga, Director for Mozambique Center for Democracy and Development, just giving us some of the initial reaction to what has been announced regarding the decision at the moment or the situation that pertains, which is that uh, the former Mozambican finance minister, Manuel Cheng, will not yet be extradited to the United States as uh, the likes of Professor Novunga and civil society organizations want in, uh, in, in Mozambique and that the matter is now being dealt with at the level of the Supreme Court of Appeal, which is where the Mozambican government is taking this matter. They want Manuel Cheng back in Mozambique now, but civil society groups believe that will be uh, supporting impunity and corruption, that he should go and face uh, his music, so to speak, in the United States, where he was firstly indicted in this alleged hidden debt scandal of two billion US dollars.